This is part 3 about dismantling and taking a look inside the oscilloscope but before anything I have a latest test to do so uh, what I want to do is to connect it to the computer let me see if there is any kind of USB signal data or something so let's turn it on let me have the USB cable over here on top this is a micro USB cable okay there we go and now all I have to do is to connect it to one of the computer ports over here nothing is it charging at least no nothing let me try another cable maybe this is just for charging it's very possible so this is a data cable it's working I'm using it with the camera and there we go oh yes look there so something it's happening it's something there I'm not sure what it is maybe it needs a driver let's try that again let me turn it off yeah and on okay so it's very possible to be a data connection to this uh, little oscilloscope anyway it was advertised like firmware upgrade capable and that that could be a really nice feature for uh, for the machine okay now let's go to dismantle let's open the lid let's open the case and see what's inside there we need uh, to take the sleeve off of course let's let me turn off the oscilloscope so this is very easy to be turned off it's a silicone sleeve very nice good feeling on touching that and behind here we have one two six screws let me see I think it's Philips screws is there anyone here no it's just these six screws okay let's take them out okay I have to say that the the form it's very nice and it's uh, slimmer look here it's slimmer than I thought it's really nice in the hand it's really handy <laughs> that should be all okay and there we are okay that's the beauty here oh that's a really nice battery uh, 3000 milliamps this is good ah here is the screw for the stander so that's the little uh, oscilloscope we'll talk about this ICs a little bit later because I have I have to take some good photos about this all I can see like a uh, compare to DCO 120M is these two chips over here we have an Altera Max 2 and the uh, ISSI something I don't know I think it's looking like a memory or something just take it uh, you know the grosso modo we have a relay over here and I think we have uh, so it's just this r relay okay that's the entrance and we have a uh, and we have a capacitor here a trimmer I think that one it's for uh, adjusting the waveform that's nice and here we have the I may call it already classic for this kind of equipment MTX 2088 or 2288 analog to digital um, converter here we have the okay let me take it this way 
here we have the ARM processor it's uh, STM32 F103 or something we'll see that later in the in the photos much better here we have a small memory I think this one is for photos over here we have some glue or something but I I'm pretty sure this one is for charging the battery maybe I should take that off what's this secrecy maybe for cooling very possible oh yes of course TPA 4056 that's for charging the battery and I think that uh, silicon was in purpose for cooling better the circuit I can do even better I'm gonna have a piece of this thermal pad this one the circuit here and the other one over here these are the buttons related you know for commands what's this one over here I think it's an operational 695 oh yes I think that's an operational coming from the analog digital going to the processor here oh look there we have a soldiering debris here and another one oh man luckily we saw that let's have a look at the main ICs over here so this is an IA61 LV12 816 and this is a high speed same more static RAM with 3.3 volt supply that's the Altera Max 2 APM 240T100C5N non-volatile CPLD whatever that is you know it's too much for me that's the main processor over here STM32F103 that's an ARM Cortex M3 32-bit uh, RISC processor MXT20A8 analog to digital converter that's equivalent with AD9288 dual monolithic sampling here we have 74 hash C40510 that's a single pole octal throw analog switch and here we have a flash memory it's hard to read it over there but it's about that's a 32 mega serial flash memory and of course uh, TP4056 uh, lithium charger and some data about and at the end of the video you'll have some photos with the whole uh, main board so please comment about the details it should be really nice to find more information about how these things are running in this mini oscilloscope this is nice here in place well back in the case is it still working let's see let me have the sleeve back this is a really nice touch about the, this sleeve all around and it's also dropping protection um, I didn't sew yet any kind of display brightness maybe I didn't maybe I didn't uh, display persistence none but that's for sure there is nothing about the display brightness so for now it's fixed the uh, it's fixed display but that doesn't bother me you can see it very nice in uh, medium light now enjoy the photos with the main board I think that's it uh, about this little one we see in time how it's behaving how good is it I'll keep you informed about uh, when the projects are coming and I need a use of uh, the oscilloscope 
Thank you for now, guys. Wish you well, and don't forget to have fun. Bye-bye.